Okay, in this video, I will demonstrate how to configure the lexicon edit entries view so you can add or remove columns and you can sort columns. To begin with, I will show you how you can sort columns, at least the basic ways. You see underneath the columns, these boxes here, this is the sort applied. I want to show grammatical information. Let's say I want to show the ones that I haven't yet identified the grammatical information or part of speech for. Click on that, show blanks. You'll see that this is now a yellow. And down here, uh, yellow shows you that a filter has been applied. And that's showing me all the blanks. It also shows you me how many entries uh, meet that requirement uh, or constraint. I have 136 entries of my database do not yet have a grammatical information or part of speech. I can then switch to non-blanks. Which ones have I done? Uh, now I have 243 meet the requirement. I can then do, a, in this particular one, it's a choice. So I can say, choose, uh, I want only the nouns. Um, this choose option is available only for things that are list-based. Um, I can then do uh, show all again. I can then, to show you another option, let's go lexeme form. I want to filter for things that start with that character. Okay, so now I have two entries to start with that character. Um, and then, so that is filtering. There are also, just to show you that it's here, a uh, match for regular expression. We'll get into that in a later video. That's not what we're going to do here. I'm gonna hit cancel here. Another option for when you're filtering is turn off all filters. Now I have all of them. So that's sorting and filter sorting is basically uh, alphabetical. You right now you can sort A to Z or Z to A, A to Z back and forth. Uh, another option is, is columns. This little item right here, it can figure which columns to display. Uh, these are the ones that are quick choices. I'm going to go down here to more column choices. And these are all of the columns that Flex has available for you to see. Um, I'm going to scroll down to, let's say I want to see which um, entries have audio. I know this pronunciation media file, Hit the OK button. Now this shows me all of the shows me the pronunciation media file for all of my entries, and then I filter for non-blank. These are all of the videos or entries that have audio. And if I want to show all, and now I want to remove that column, so we go back to configure which items to display, and then I can go here and remove. Now, another option that is helpful is some options have more than one writing system applied to them, like Lexeme form. Let's go down to Lexeme form. I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to move it up to the other Lexeme form so they're all together. Whereas this Lexeme form is Thai, this next one is currently set to be Lexeme form default vernacular. I want to change that to be Thai International Phonetic Alphabet or IPA. So now you can see that I have the options showing Lexing form Thai, Lexing form IPA. I can also expand the columns to make them wider. Um, you can see that these will wrap around. I can also bring this over if I want more, more space. If I have a lot more columns I wanna show, I can scoot this over. I can bring it back. I can actually also move this one a little bit if I wanted to, so I get more screen. Um, all right, so that is the basics of how to configure lexicon edit entries to show which columns you want to and also how to sort. And in later videos, we'll talk about the uh, regular expression options for searching. All right, thank you very much.